friends, hello everybody, welcome back. Alright, so today we'll be working with constants. Now, constants aren't really that important in Delphi, especially if you're doing Delphi in school, then most of the time you'll actually get the constants and you don't have to insert them, but still it's good to know how they work, how to add them and stuff like that. For in case, let's say you don't use constants, you're not in school but you still use Delphi, but you know. So let's add a button and an edit. Now the plan is, wait, let, let's try and look, let's just add a button. So the plan is, once you press the button, you, a price will, or, or let, let's add an, let's add an edit. That's, okay, yeah, so there's an edit. Sorry about that. Okay, so, let's just resize this to look perfect selected and just so we don't get annoyed we can say yeah position and we can just put it in the center okay cool so when you click on the button it should take this value and add that to it since that is a constant and never changes so a constant is something that never changes if you try and change a constant you'll get an error unless you change the constant where it was declared Anyways, so let's just rename this button. We're going to have to give him names. Let's just rename him to uh, get that. And in this one, we can just, um, this one I'll rename because it just makes that one easier. The button, we can just keep it the same. Uh, e EDT price. And then we can just change the text to nothing. Oh, wait, let, let's give it a value. Let's give it the vat of 100 would be 40. I'm 14. I mean 15 because vat is 15. Okay, so let's go into get vat. Now, usually you kind of like put constants somewhere here, but we will not be doing that. Or wait, yeah, we will be doing that. Yeah. So, under implementation, we'll be putting constants there. That is where you should be putting constants. So, how to put a constant there? First thing you do is you go... Which is... Oh, man. Okay, cool. Now, let's just do that. So it looks nice. Okay, there. So, then we can go... Const, which will... Well, not like variable. You know, like... Var... It's just different because it's a constant. So you can't change it in code. You can't make constant that equal to if it's already 14, you can't make it 15, you know. Okay, so let's go that. You make it equal to 0 0.15. Now this might ring a few bells in your head because like how does that constant know that that should be a double or a real? Now Constants kind of work this out for you. So you don't have to say it's integer, you don't have to say it's something else. For example, um, uh, name, name. When you declare constants, try and keep them, you know, in capital letters just for, just to make it easier. You know, like, because this is how most programming languages work. You just if you declare a constant, you make it full capital letters so you know when it should happen or when it's a constant and stuff like that. It just makes the reading easier. And so that's how you declare a constant. Um, basically, you don't have to go like the integers and stuff like that. You just like okay, so let's leave it there. Then we can start going to you make it our price become our price is in real so let's just add a variable so we have a variable our price now we're going to get our price from edt price and then we're going to get we're going to get the vat from it and we're going to display it on a show message so let's go our price becomes price dot text but then we go put this in brackets and then we go string to float so now we will get a real because string to float 
So now we have our price. Now we should probably like get. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's get comma or that. So that's not in. So let's make this fat rate. Okay. So now we can go our vat becomes um, vat rate. Oh, wait, wait, let's go our price times the vat rate because if we if 0 0.15 percent is the is the vat rate in South Africa. So if we times 100 with 0 0.15 we will get 15, right? So let's do that. Then we go show message uh, uh, format float. Okay, so then we can go r0.00 and it will be uh, rvat now I'm pretty sure I did explain this in my earlier video, but for in case, basically what's happening here is I'm saying show the message format thread. This will format your reel to a string, and unlike um, flow to string would work, you can like say R or you can put a dollar sign there or something like that, and it will round it off to the amount of decibels you want it to. So let's say you want it to only show an integer value, or you only want one decibel after that. That's how it works basically. And then it, ta it takes it from this value right here. Okay, so let's go control D just to make things easier. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. Okay. So now let's run it. There shouldn't be er any errors. And then let's show you how that beautiful R bat works. Now it's 100. So let's get the that value. And it's 15 Rand. Perfect. Should disable this. Okay. So now let's try and change the VAT value. Since we know we can't do it, you know. So let's just to show you how it works. So VAT rate becomes 10. Okay, sorry about that. 10. Now let's run and compile this. There's an error. error. Because left side cannot be assigned to. This one cannot be assigned to a different number because it's a constant. You can't change a constant once it has been declared unless you do it here and make it like 19 or something like that. Okay? That is also why once you do the like also complete and you go bad rate, it automatically tells you it's 0 0.15. It's not something to be changed. And yeah, that is the basics of constants. Noise. So yeah. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.